So we have E4 from Goldhammer. Bobby with the Sicilian defense, C5. Knight F3 and D6. Pawn D4 gives us an open Sicilian after pawn takes pawn and knight takes pawn. Knight F6 and knight C3. And, of course, no surprise to see Miguel Nidorf's variation, pawn to A6. And we have seen Opachensky's variation several times now already as well. It's named for Carol Opachensky. E5. It's the knight. Knight retreats to B3. Bishop E7, Bishop E3, and kingside castles. Now, Goldhammer, leaving the opening book, played F3. There is an opening-like structure here. It's a Yugoslav type of move. But that's not played in this particular line. The traditional line is kingside castles. That line continues with Bishop E6, Queen D2, Queen's knight to d7, pawn a4, rook to c8 on the half open file, pawn a5, queen to c7, king's rook to d1, and king's rook to d8. The traditional line abandoned by Goldhammer, who went with f3. Not optimal in this particular line that bishop becomes a bad bishop when you play f3. You see how these pawns cage in his own bishop. Bobby plays bishop e6 in either case. Queen d2, as in the traditional. And Bobby played b5. That scored inaccurate, and the bot prefers queen c7. Usually, queen's knight to d7 is played first, and after castles, then b5 is the most commonly played line. You might could play a5 as well, by the way, right here, instead of b5. That gets a thumbs up. That line continues with bishop b5, though, now that there's no pawn here stopping it. And knight c6. Rook d1. Wow, none of these moves liked by the bot, but this is the most continued line if a5 is played. Well, that goes back to the book. I didn't realize that was a book position right there. Knight a a7 here. I just I knew these were the no, most common moves, but I didn't know they were in the ECO. Bishop back to d3. Knight to c8. And this knight goes all around the mulberry bush, castles, and knight to b6. Let's go back. b5 by Bobby Fisher. Now rook d1. And pretty much the same moves should be considered. a4 and castles are the two. The bot calling for a4, but the most commonly played move here is castles. That gets a question mark for some reason. Goldhammer with rook d1, and Bobby, queen's knight to d7. Well, the eval bar has black with the slightest splinter of an advantage here. And again, here even, a4 or castles. Castles, again, is the most common move in this position as well. But either of these moves are thematic. Neither of these moves were played by Herbert Goldhammer. He went with g4 and gets a question mark from the bot. The bot now calling for kingside castles. Rook c8 on h4. Knight b6, pawn to g5. And we're starting to see the thought process that Herbert Goldhammer has in his mind. Knight h5, threatening to 
play knight g3, although it's hard to see him giving up his knight for a bad bishop, but he might. Goldhammer with king f2. That's marked as inaccurate, with knight d5 being preferred. I don't know if bishop d3 would help at all. It gets a check mark. But king f2 by Goldhammer. Pawn f5. Now king g2. Pawn takes pawn. And bishop takes the knight here. That too is marked as inaccurate. With pawn takes pawn being preferred. Pawn takes pawn will be answered by knight to f4 check. I get a check mark, I guess. It's not the optimal, I, I, I guess, based on that. But, of course, after bishop takes, rook takes. And on, uh, no. It doesn't work. You could play this knight, though, because the pawn's overworked. Ah, yeah, that's what I'll play. I'll play knight d4. Knight d4, get a star for that. <clears throat> And the point is that this pawn is overworked, so if knight if pawn takes knight, queen takes rook. Although you do get another knight for it, don't you? Yeah, so you're okay here, actually. Black's actually better here, because you're getting two for one. <laughs> two minors for a rook is definitely well worth it. Let's go back. That's the line if pawn takes e4. No wonder Goldhammer was reluctant to go down that path. He tried bishop takes knight, but apparently that's even more worse. -er. Queen takes the bishop. Now knight d5 hits the queen. Pawn takes pawn check. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes the knight on d5. Bishop takes the bishop with check. King h8. And now white better beware of knight f4. He plays bishop to e4, which does nothing to discourage knight f4. Um, the bot calling for king's rook to f1. Now, actually, Bobby does not play knight f4. He came up with something even better. <laughs> Pawn to d5. What a move. And the point is, you know, that pawn's completely undefended, right? Well, if you take the if you take the pawn, I'm going ahead with the knight f4 after all. With check. And then I'm going to take your bishop with my knight. So let's say king h2. Knight takes the bishop, queen takes the knight. Um, now, I've got two rooks that can lunge up here with check. Take your pick. Both are good. Might as well play the one that wins a pawn to boot. I only get a thumbs up for that. Apparently, this one's better. -er. Much more the better. -er. But, I mean, a thumbs, I say only a thumbs up. It's still a winning move, isn't it? In fact, the eval bar doesn't budge either way. It's the same. The eval bar assesses it the same. All right, let's come back. So anyway, bishop f3 was played. Knight f4 check now. King g3. Bishop d6, lining up with the king. King's rook to f1. On e4, hitting the bishop. Bishop g4 hits the rook. That hit is completely ignored. And Bobby plays on e3 here. On e3, and white resigned will come back to this. I believe that Black also has a decoy he can play. I can play rook takes pawn. 
and I'm threatening a hook mate. So if he takes, if he takes my rook, ooh, double X clam. Here's the thing: he can't move his queen, or I have checkmate right there. Yes. That's a hook checkmate if he moves his queen to safety. Um, there are, there's not really. Let's let's just move here. There's your hook checkmate right there. So called because the attack is shaped like a hook, isn't it? But if he takes the rook, then this square is undefended and I come in with check. King would have to move. And if he moves here, he's still in line with my bishop. So I've got check here. How do I finish this guy off? Well, you know what? He's got to come here. So I've got knight g3. That's the answer. And then he's got, doesn't matter where he goes. I guess he'll come back here. I'll take the, the rook. And um, now I'm threatening to come here. So in other words, he, he cannot just take because then here, here, and um, oh, there's your mate right there. Coming back to Bobby's move, E3, and White resigned. And there's no wrong way to win a chess game, but clearly the queen's on priest, and if he moves to D4, hoping for a queen trade. We're not going to grant that trade. We're going to discover a hit on the on the king. So you can play knight e6 or knight e2. Doesn't really matter which. They're both check. And when black gets out of check, you eat that queen. Gobble, gobble. But I really relish these double exclams so let me put it up there again 